While Myanmar's progress towards democracy has been heralded by many countries around the world, human rights still remains a serious concern. Ethnic violence, particularly against Muslim minorities, has once again surged in recent weeks. Vijay Nambia is the United Nations Secretary General's Special Advisor on Myanmar. Vijay Nambia, thank you very much for joining Newsline. Good evening to you. Your role as Special Advisor to the UN Secretary General on Myanmar has had you travelling in and out since 2010, but now the situation seems to be deteriorating in the country. Would, would you agree with that? Uh, the, there have been certain uh, violent uh, incidents which have taken place uh, in central uh, Myanmar, which is disturbing. But I don't know whether we can say that the entire situation in the country has been deteriorating. Uh, I think broadly the reform process is on track. There have been um, uh, violent attacks in June and October last year. Uh, and these, uh, these new disturbances are certainly uh, very, very uh, a cause for great concern. And uh, how it plays out, whether or not it spreads to other parts, is going to be critical in affecting the overall situation. The violence spreading to central Myanmar recently seems to have come quite suddenly. Are you aware of what factors might have been at play there? From the, the, our own conversations with the victims, uh, you know, as you know, the government had agreed to uh, sending a few of the community leaders, the Muslim community leaders, some monks and Christian priests, along with uh, members of the government, including the chief minister and the, the general who is looking after the law and order now that the emergency has been declared. Uh, we all went to see some of the victims and from the accounts of the victims, it appeared that these were elements which had come from outside and which they did not immediately recognize. So the, and that they were a little overwhelmed and surprised, almost traumatized by the incident. So to that extent, it is a little, uh, it, it, one would get the impression that these were, uh, these were criminal elements from outside. Many people have been waiting to see what Aung San Suu Kyi would say. Has the UN been in touch with her? And do you have any sense of what her role may be? Uh, I have not directly been able to contact her, but the United Nations resident coordinator has been in touch with her. And I think the, there is a certain commonality of view and a, 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 a certain unity in terms of approach in dealing with the current uh, crisis. And I think that uh, there is also a clear understanding that this is not a, an issue on which uh, you can actually, uh, you can let it affect the, the politics of, of the, the, the differences uh, between the parties. All of them have a common stake in uh, seeing that uh, the violence does not spread and that harmony among the communities is preserved. Is there any chance that the government would reconsider the current statelessness of the Rohingya people? The government uh, seems to be keen on looking at uh, uh, the, the humanitarian aspect on the one hand, uh, because the monsoons are going to come very soon, and uh, the, the, the shelters which uh, have already been constructed need to be strengthened and somewhat uh, made somewhat more uh, permanent in, in the sense of livable uh, to be able to withstand the, the rigors of the monsoon of the rains. Uh, but on the other hand, the government uh, particularly uh, the, uh, the Minister of Immigration, is keen on looking at the, uh, the larger question of uh, citizenship, etc. And I think they, they are conscious that they need to come out with both temporary and long-term measures to address this question. For several years now, you've been the Special Representative on Myanmar. As you travel in and out, do you see that economic change...